Oh, my ring fell off. Hello everyone, thank you for watching the video. Today I'm going to be trying out the Tub Strain Strainer Hair Catcher. Uh, this is actually designed for the tub drain. However, I'm going to be trying it out in my bathtub sink where I'm having uh, some problems. Um, you can get one that's specifically for the sink. Uh, it would be sink shroom. Or you can get one for the shower, shower shroom. Yeah, this is supposed to be for the bathtub drain. Uh, so what you would do is if you have a cover, a conventional mesh strainer, remove the screw in the center of the strainer, then remove the strainer, insert tub shroom, and you're ready to go. Uh, and you know some with it may have a uh, stopper. Um, it can be removed before placing your tub shroom in place. Professional assistance may be required for more complicated setups. Let's see. It says insert tub shroom into the drain. The hair wraps up nearly around the cylinder. All the hair is in one place and ready to clean up. Remove the hair with the uh, with one effortless, effortless move. Uh, here's some more. Insert tub shroom and drain opening is designed to stick out a drain by about half an inch for optimal water flow. After several showers, you may remove tub shroom to wipe the collected water off with a towel or tissue. It says that it's designed for a typical, uh, we'll see, it says it's made to work with virtually any standard bathtub drain. A typical drain is 1.5 inch in diameter. What it looks like. We're going to leave it out about. I suppose to leave it out about a half an inch. Uh, I got a measuring tape here. Let's measure it real quick. All right. So you can see I'm getting around one and uh, three quarters of an inch. It is approximately two inches tall. So in the bathtub, here's what we have. Uh, I think this is pretty common. You have like a cover here with a screw holding it in place. You take that off. And then you should be able to put uh, the tub shroom in its place there. Um, you know, leaving it, it says to leave it about a half an inch up. Um, and after you do that, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to, you know, use your basic stopper here. That should still work okay, I'm guessing. Um, you know, but we're not going to try that, so I can't, you know, exactly tell you if that's how it's going to work. However, over here in the sink, uh, what we're having is um, we're having a slow drain and shoot it seems like about every six months or so uh, this drain will get clogged up and it's not just you know right under the cabinet it's like pretty far in the wall there so um, it's been used by a lot of people and you know hair gets collected in here and so I'm having to snake it out like I said about twice a year and uh, remove that and I notice that there's quite a bit of hair in there when I uh, clean it out don't really want to use harmful chemicals down the drain. I'm afraid that, uh, you know, eventually it's going to wear the pipe out. Um, we'll have to replace all that. So uh, I'm hoping this will work out and make it a little bit easier. Uh, let me show you another uh, example that, uh, that I don't want to use. Here is another bathroom where someone's using a, a metal, uh, kind of a screen mesh strainer. Uh, that's, just, that's, just, that's just a mess right there. Um, so try to avoid that altogether. So let's go back to the bathroom shroom. Oh, while we're in here, let me show you. Uh, here would be the shower drain. Now, as you can see, the one that I have is just too small for uh, that shower drain. So we definitely have to order a uh, shower uh, shroom if we're going to, you know, use that. Okay, back here in the sink, we're going to take the stopper out. Insert the shroom. Okay, we're going to leave it, like they say, about a half inch up. If I can get level, that would probably be better. Something like, yeah, something like that right there. And if we decide we want to fill the sink, you know, we still got our stopper here to do that. Just take the shroom out and put the stopper back in place. 
Okay, let's try it out. Probably push it all the way down. Just gonna, you know, do what they say. All right. So, what I want to do now is I want to try an actual um, simulation here. If I can find some hair from a wig, we'll try that and see how well it picks up the hair. All right. So here we are with the wig. I've actually cut some already. You know what? It may be too much. Um, let's. Let's try to do this more realistically, and I don't think anybody would be losing that much hair at one time. So let's say uh, something like that right there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, try to remember how much we have here. Definitely would want that going into our sink. All right, without the uh, shroom there, the tub shroom, you know, that would have went on down. We wouldn't even be able to see it. Simulation ring here. This is actually an earring, but oh, my ring fell off. So it's not going to uh, it's not going to go down the drain. All right. Okay. So see, it does work like it uh, says. So I guess that'll be it for the tub shroom. I'm going to give it a uh, try here for a while. See how it works. I expect it. It's going to work pretty well. At least better than what's uh, happening right now with us. Um, yeah, tub shroom. Um, this particular one being for the tub, however, has worked out for the uh, sink. Uh, but you can specifically buy ones for you know your drain. Again, one and a half inch. Uh, this measure, put this measure, one and three quarter inch. This particular tub one, and it works for the sink. All right, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day out there and take care.